Hello, in today's video we will be looking at Merlin annual passes and specifically the Merlin membership. So let's get to it. Roll titles! <laughs> Hello, my name is Kip Hakes. Welcome along to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Now today we're going to be looking at the Merlin membership, which is sort of like a Merlin annual pass. Well, in fact, it's a lot like a Merlin annual pass, but it allows you to pay monthly for it, which is obviously quite good because Merlin annual passes are quite expensive, especially if you want a sort of better one, one of the platinum ones. Now obviously not everyone has got a big chunk of money just to throw down every year and the Merlin membership allows you to spread the cost of a Merlin annual pass over a year and beyond. Now I have actually had a Merlin membership before now um, but it was actually before the pandemic and I think all the passes were sort of cancelled or put on hibernation during the pandemic and then after the pandemic I had my broken back, not literally, so I couldn't go to theme parks. But now ba -ba, I'm allowed to go to theme parks although I'm not allowed on roller coasters until May. If you see me near a roller coaster before May give me a good old slap. Anyway and what I'm going to do in this video today is I'm going to take you through all the steps of buying a Merlin membership and uh, just go through the process. We can compare the different passes and things like that. Now obviously there will be some personal information on show like I've got to put my address and card details and things like that so obviously you won't see things like that but you know I'm trying to give you as a rounded experience as possible. Now this video isn't sponsored, I don't have any deals with Merlin or anything like that. I just thought I'm signing up for this pass so I might as well bring you along for the journey. So um, this is the Merlin membership website. Let's have a little scroll down. So it's from $9.99 per month. That's brilliant. And there we go. It's split into different memberships. Interesting. The silver pass is called a silver pass, but the gold pass is a gold membership. Same with the platinum. Okay. And so basically the silver pass starts at $9.99 per month and there is a joining fee of $39.99 per person when you sign up. And then you've got the gold membership, which is $14.99 per month, and a joining fee of $49.99 per person when you're signing up. And then we've got the platinum membership, which is the one I'm going for, and that is $19.99 per month, and there is a £59.99 joining fee. By signing up to this, you're agreeing to pay Merlin for at least 12 months. So this isn't, you can't just sort of go, oh, well, I only want to go to Alton Towers in April and May, so I'm just going to join then. You, you can't do that. You're committed for a whole year. So just remember that. Don't think that you can just get a couple of months pass and that is your lot. You are signing up for at least a year, no matter which one of these you go for. So what's the difference between them? Well, we can see it's, it's very nicely laid out. So the silver membership, that gives you 300 days of entry to Merlin attractions. So that will get you into Thorpe Park, Alton Towers, Chessington, the Sea Life Centres, Madame Two Swords, the Dungeons, all those places that are owned by Merlin, you can get into for 300 days a year, which is mental, really. But the Silver membership does exclude certain peak days and the entire month of August. There's a calendar there that you can download and see exactly what those exclusions are. I'm not going to go into that in this video because it'll just be very long anyway. Plus, selected extra benefits including up to 10% off food and drink and discounted friends and family tickets. So when you're in those parks or places, in pretty much all of the Merlin owned food outlets, you will get 10% off food and drink, which is excellent. Now, I think this membership is sort of maybe pointed at the people who don't want to visit the theme parks during the busy summer months and, and things like that. So if you're like a couple or something, you don't have kids and you just want to disappear off to a theme park at random days throughout the season, there you go. £9.99 per month plus a £39.99 joining fee. Pretty good. Then you step up to the gold membership which offers over 340 days entry and it has fewer exclusion dates so there are less dates that you can't attend 
Uh, you also get free parking thrown in, which is great because the parking at Merlin Places is slowly creeping up, and so that's just an additional cost onto your day out. So that's definitely worth considering. And you get some vouchers as well that will give you five pounds off fast tracks at the different theme parks. Um, you obviously don't get loads of these. It doesn't tell you how many you get. That might have been helpful, but never mind. But when you're there, you get 20% off retail food and drink. So your souvenirs and all your bits and bobs and your food and drink, you get 20% off those as well, which is pretty perfect, really. I like that. Once you are having a day out, 20% off the food bill and drink bill and buying all your souvenirs, that does actually add up quite substantially. So it's definitely worth considering. And so this one is $14.99 per month with a $14.99 joining fee then we've got the big one we've got the daddy and that is the platinum and that gives you 364 days entry so there are no exclusion days but you don't get in to paid events so if there's something special going on and going down that you have to pay extra for it doesn't mean you can just rock up and bowl in and own the place so even though it is a platinum pass there is a slight exclusion in that you can't go to paid events, which which is fine for me. Now, this one offers you free parking. And again, this comes with the five pound off fast track vouchers and share the fun vouchers, which allow you to get tickets for friends and family at a slightly reduced rate. But again, with those as well, I think the amount you can share the fun is limited, although it doesn't tell you that specifically. So bear that in mind. So uh, yep, uh, even more benefits, including more reservations per park and discounts. Now, something that you might not know, and I've not really had to deal with because I've not been going to theme parks since the pandemic, is you have to book to go to the theme park now. And obviously with your passes, that's fine. You've got your passes and you have to you know you have to book a time so it is a bit annoying because i just used to like waking up and going yeah screw it we're going to go and do th three theme parks in one day and not really have to think about it i did a video on that which i'll put up in that corner but now you do have to plan slightly and book a reservation for you as pass holders which is a bit of a ball late but we might try and do that in this video i don't know if i'm going to get a pass immediately or i'll have to wait or how it's all going to work because i'm just doing this live with you as it is so um yeah we'll we'll work out that as we go what we've got here now is a breakdown showing them all side by side and what all of them include okay so look there you go multiple pre-book tickets available you can have up to three tickets per attraction at any one time with the silver pass. You can have three with the gold membership, but you can have six booked in with the platinum. Okay, and look, there you go, digital pass. Instant digital pass sent directly to your inbox. So we will be looking at my pass digitally. And look, there you go. So it tells you, as I said, you get free car parking with the gold and platinum membership. And there's the differences between the discounts you get all of the passes give you 20 percent off holiday stays with the merlin holiday club and that allows you to stay at the resort hotels and also i think off resort hotels at a discounted price if you've got a silver or gold membership you can get discounted tickets to go to the park on the days that your pass won't allow so you don't have to go and pay full whack on the days that are excluded which is good um we get a free coca-cola restyle cup lanyard and two refill vouchers with a platinum membership, okay. I, 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 yeah, that's fine. I'm not overly bothered about that, but you know, that's cool. Who doesn't love a lanyard? There we go, look, okay, so this is, we're sort of reading the small print here. So the five pound off fast track vouchers, you get three of them with the gold membership and you get six of them with the platinum membership. And also, yes, there's a free lanyard card holder and pop badge for gold and platinum memberships which i assume will come in the post at some point okay so we've got up to five 50 percent off friends and family tickets and all passes you get those so with the platinum membership you get three share the fun vouchers which means you can take your friends and families into these attractions for 15 pounds each which is great and it says all of them have got 
extra perks and discounts. Let's buy our Merlin membership. Buy now. Okay, so your pass will be delivered digitally directly to your inbox, ready to use. You'll receive your privilege pack along with your physical card via post within the next 30 days. Okay, so now I've got to enter my personal information. So for, um, so for obvious reasons, this next section will be heavily blurred out. Oh, that's interesting. So they've obviously got ANPR, which is also number plate recognition on uh, the barriers when you leave the car parks. So I've put in my vehicle registration, should automatically allow me to exit for free. Or if I'm not in my car, I'm wearing Vicky's car, I could just scan my pass. Lovely, right. So now we've got to upload a photo. Now obviously your face is printed on your pass. I'm not gonna take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I've got a good one. I say good, as good, as good as a photo of me gets, let's be honest. Okay, so I've got to, Property crop me old facey face. Boom, all done, right, let's continue. I confirm I have read and agreed to the, to the terms and conditions. So right now I've got my joining fee in the basket, 59.99, and my first monthly cost of 19.99. Um, do I want personalized communications? No, I don't, um, but I have to agree to the terms and conditions before I check out, that's fine. Again, this is my billing information, which you can't see. So um, yeah, sorry about that. Cool, I'm in there like swimwear. Blurred bit of paper appears to be my digital pass. I'm a pass holder. I'm a platinum pass holder. I'm one of the big boys. Okay, so in the next part of this video, I was hoping to show you me adding my pass to my Merlin Platinum Pass account and booking a trip. Now, I did actually record all that, but unfortunately, the screen capture software failed. So, sorry about that. But what I do have here is the Merlin Platinum Pass Holder portal that you add your pass to and um, you can book your trips. So, here we have my pass in here. So, if Vicky decides to get herself a Platinum Pass, uh, we can add it here and jointly book trips together. And so, yeah, let's manage my trips. Oh, look. <gasps> Opening day, bitches. Yeah, so if we want to book a new trip, let's do that. So we can see which attraction we want to go to. Let's say Chessington, for example. So, yep, yeah, me. And then um, I think on May the 15th, something's happening at Chessington. Not sure what. And then we just do continue. And there you go. So you can ma make a booking for your trip to whichever Merlin attraction on the day you want. Now this is obviously for platinum pass holders. Now for silver and gold pass holders, the process is slightly different. Now, if you want to book a trip to a Merlin attraction with a silver or gold pass, you need to actually go to the attractions website and book it via that. Apparently that they're going to open this portal up to everyone, but that hasn't happened yet. Now, interestingly and slightly annoyingly, I'm planning on getting James a gold Merlin membership. Um, I didn't want to get him a platinum one because he's not here with us like a lot of the time. It doesn't really matter that there are some dates that he can't go because more than likely he probably wouldn't be here anyway. So I was going to get him a gold membership. Now, the thing is, you can only add platinum memberships to your membership portal. So for example, as James is coming with us to Alton Towers on opening day, then what I have to do is get his pass and then actually book him in on the Alton Towers website. Should we do that now? Yeah, let's do that now and to give you the whole experience. We might as well. Okay, so I've got James's pass. Now I'm just going to double check that I can't add it to this uh, Platinum Pass interface thing because, you know, it might work. Who knows? Oh, okay. Interesting. Right. Let's see now. Alton Towers. Well, that's a bit disjointed. <laughs> so that's a bit daft. You can actually add the pass, but you can't actually use the pass. Okay. 
So let's try and see if we can pre-book through the Alton Towers website. Pass holder pre-book, that's what we want. Book now. Okay, pass barcode. You can't see this. There we go, we can. Cool, perfect. Why can't it just pull in the information from the pass? This is a bit sideways, but okay. Now something that I don't think I made clear at the beginning of the video is as we've seen you obviously need a annual pass slash membership for each person in your group or family so you can't just buy one pass and all get in with it you need to buy multiple passes and I think the only people that are exempt from a pass are those that are under three so anyone over the age of three there's no children's passes there's nothing like that it is just everyone the same price which in some ways is good but in other ways it, it can get quite pricey especially if you're a large family thankfully we are not but yeah there we go hi edit kip here just to let you know that both the gold and platinum passes that i've ordered have arrived so i will do an unboxing in an upcoming video so make sure you're subscribed to that anyway back to the kit from the past so the the whole sort of setting up and pre-booking seems to be all relatively smooth. I think they've ironed out a lot of the bugs since they first introduced the system. I'm not a massive fan of having to pre-book days out. It just seems to take away a bit of spontaneity. But at least with the Platinum Pass, I think there's a bit more of an allowance for spaces. We're not all going to have Platinum Passes. So yeah, it's a bit annoying. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the journey and everything like that. I think it would be good if everything was booked through one portal rather than having to go to the attraction sites to book everything up individually. I like the portal that they've got for the Platinum Pass holders, but yeah, it would just be nice if there was just a general pass holder portal, but it seems to be that that might happen at some indeterminate point in the future. I hope this video has been helpful to you. It's been interesting to me to film and just see the process and how it all works. So yeah, while there won't be any big roller coasters for me for a little while yet, at least I can go and hang out in the parks and start making content. So that's really good. So do you have a Merlin Pass? Do you have a Merlin membership? Let me know. How do you find it? How do you find the booking system? I'd be interested to know. Do you think they're good value for money or not? Let me know. So yeah, drop a comment below. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, it's game over.